Hey guys, it's Jordan Sparks. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be recreating Kalani Hilliker's signature makeup look. So if you are interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up. Smash that juicy red subscribe button if you're brand new here, and let's hop right into this. So first off, I apologize that I look a little bit like an ogre. It has been a rough week. So for those of you guys that have been following my channel, you probably know my cute little dog Chewy. Well, about a week ago he got his rabies update shot and he's been super sick and lethargic all week. And then yesterday and all night, um, the night before, he was throwing up all night long and then he didn't eat all day yesterday and so we ended up bringing him to the vet. Today he's been feeling amazing, super duper energetic enough that he decided to bite me in the face. So today I have a nice long bite on my face. I don't know how much it shows up on camera, but it definitely hurts. And um, good to know that he's nice and chipper and back to his old self. So I saved a couple pictures to my phone of what Kalani's makeup looks like. Let's just take a look at those. So I have this picture here and I would describe Kalani's makeup as like soft glam. I would say that it's usually really bronzy. That is a word that I would definitely use to describe it. I would say that she usually has like a very soft kind of neutral pink or bronze kind of eye moment. She has very light glam kind of looks. She has blush. She usually has some warm colored highlight at the highs of her cheek, her nose, her chin. I would say that for Kalani's eyes that she usually has a nice black winged eyeliner and not necessarily always a thick lash but she usually has like a nice natural wispy lash. So with all that being said, let's hop right into this. Kalani I would say normally goes for like a medium kind of coverage. My dog bit my face and I have a couple spots that I want to cover up. So today I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. This is in the shade 002 Vanilla and I actually love this because it also has SPF 20 in it. So that's just kind of an added benefit. My face is already primed so I'm just going to be going in with the Damp Beauty Blender and tack this cut first. It's all cleaned out and had time to dry so I'm not afraid to put makeup on it. I feel like it, I didn't realize how much of a tan I've put on in the last couple weeks, so I feel like this foundation is maybe too light for me now. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I don't know how it's looking on camera, but I feel like it's a little bit Casper the Ghost. Now, I'm aware that my face is super stubbly, I have super coarse facial hair, but I personally believe that makeup is not one size fits all. Makeup is whatever you choose to wear it as, and I am not afraid to wear makeup with my facial hair. If you are somebody with facial hair that is wearing makeup, don't feel the pressure like you have to remove all of your facial hair to wear makeup, or that you have to be feminine to wear makeup, because anybody can wear makeup. All right, so now that my foundation is done, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX Concealer in the shade Light. Kalani definitely likes to highlight her under eye, so I'm going to do a dramatic highlight on my under eye as well as just gently on the bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, cupid's bow. And again, I'm just going to pounce that in with a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to put a little bit of the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them. Snowman cups all year long. Kalani seems to be a big fan of that bronzy contoured look, so I'm going to be going in with the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush. Instafix stick and this is going to be my contour today right underneath my cheekbones And then I'm going to contour my jaw I'm going to blend that downwards and then just my forehead And a tiny bit here on the bridge of my nose I personally have a deviated septum so the way that I contour my nose may be different than you. I don't really generally do the train tracks. I just kind of give my nose a bit of shadow and that works best for me. I'm going to pounce that in again with the Beauty Blender, making sure to bring the color upwards and not drag it inwards towards my face. Making sure not to bring the contour too high or too low, but just in the hollow underneath my cheekbones. Now I'm going to bring the jaw contour downwards and this just accentuates a nice masculine jawline and underneath the nose 
not going in too heavy because I want to actually keep the contour there a little bit. And then bringing up the forehead contour towards the hairline. I personally just create a bit of a rainbow shape or an arc and that kind of balances out the squareness of my hairline. So now that my contour is done, my entire face so far is liquids and creams. So I'm going to be setting my face with the NYX Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And I'm just going to start by using a beauty blender and pressing this in underneath my eyes. This is a very finely milled powder, so it only takes a little bit. And I don't really bake with this. And then using this blending brush by e.l.f., I'm just going to dust the rest of my face super lightly with the same powder. And this will just set all of the creams in place. And this on my eyelids as well so that they're ready for the shadow. Now Kalani is no stranger to a glowy bronzy moment so I'm going to be going in with the NYX matte bronzer and I'm actually going to be going in pretty heavy with this today. I normally don't go too heavy on the bronzer but we're gonna do the signature kind of spray tan super glowy Kalani moment today. So I'm just going to start by contouring my forehead, erase that baby, making sure to blend this right up into my hairline. And then using the bronzer, I'm essentially going to go over all of the same spots that I did my contour with the cream. And then underneath the jaw, for a nice sharp jawline moment. We're just going to erase the nose. I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows. Now I've noticed that Kalani goes for a nice full but natural brow so I've just brushed up my brows using hairspray and then I'm filling them in using a dark powder. Alright so now that my brows are done I'm all bronzed to the gods. I've noticed Kalani likes to do a nice pink but natural kind of blush so I'm going to be going in using the pigment shade here in the conspiracy palette with the same blending brush that I used earlier and I'm going to put that just on the apples of my cheeks. Again. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. So I've noticed in all of these pictures that Kalani's signature eye look seems to have a nice nude, natural look to it. She either goes in with a bronze terracotta or a pink or warm gold color in her eyes. So today, in order to create a nice harmonious look, what I like to do is utilize the exact same bronzer and blush that I have on my face already. So I'm going to go in with the same bronzer with this nice fluffy, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply that right in my crease and just super gently like not super heavy or anything this is just to bring some harmony into the face and incorporate that same color in the eye area but also create a nice shadow here definitely feeling the Kalani vibes already <laughs> now I'm going to go in again with the same pink color this is the pigment from the Conspiracy palette, and I'm just going to go in right on top, but a little bit underneath where I put that bronzer. So we're now incorporating the two Kalani colors of the nice blushy nude pink and, and the bronzy terracotta color. Now my favorite part about Kalani's signature look is it's actually super easy in terms of eyeshadow. This is something that I feel like all of you guys would be able to recreate out there. Even if you're a beginner to makeup, this would be a great look for you guys to try experimenting with. Now in order to finish the eyeshadow, Kalani always has some kind of soft shimmer moment going on. It's not a harsh or defined cut crease, but she always has some kind of nice warm highlight. So today I'm going to be using the Apricot Baked Illuminator by e.l.f. I'm going to highlight my face with that and also use that on my eyelids. So I'm just going to be applying the illuminator with my finger. And I'm just going to be applying that right on the inner corner and don't be afraid to apply that just over top of the shadows that you've already laid down using the brush. If you want a more highlighted look, don't be afraid to use setting spray on a brush and you can apply this with a brush instead of using your finger. And then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to be going in with the shade Diet Root Beer here in the Conspiracy palette. So I'm just trying to recreate Kalani's look by using this Diet Root Beer shade in the lower lash line, but just as a general rule of thumb, if you want to use a dark nude eyeshadow in your lower lash line, it will actually bring some shadow to this area, which in turn will make your eyes appear bigger and rounder. Now we're moving on to mascara. I'm going to be trying this Maybelline Colossal in the shade 240 Glam Black. I think that this is a really old product, but I'm just trying it for the first time. Cute packaging. 
I'm a sucker for cute packaging. So that's what it looks like. Pretty much nothing came out on the wand the first time. You can see that the wand's pretty green. Honestly, it looks really gunky and a little bit concerning for being brand new. Alright, well, let's put this sloppy goop to the test. Whenever I don't trust the mascara, I like to just blink downwards so that I don't get it all over my eyelids. It definitely applies super easy and I like how it looks on the lashes. I just didn't like how all of the product is clumping at the end of the brush here when you take it out. Now I'm just going to go in and make sure to really get the beds of my lashes. Oh my god, my mascara face. Does anybody else make the exact same face when they're putting on mascara? It's like... I find that it's a little bit clumpy, but overall it's pretty decent. First impressions is it's not honestly my favorite at all. Honestly, I find that the Wet n Wild Mega Volume that comes in the other yellow container, this mascara is honestly better, and it was way cheaper. I got this for like $4 at Dollarama. Now moving on to the eyeliner, I'm going to be trying out this Rimmel London Wonder Ink Eyeliner in the shade 001 Black. This is waterproof. I did not realize that when I bought it, or I probably would not have bought it. Waterproof eyeliner and mascara is uh, harder to wash off, but that's okay. So it comes with a nice felt tip like this. Kalani usually likes to go for a kind of straight out, but also nice sharp winged cat eye liner. So today I'm going to be trying to recreate that using this Wonder Ink pen, and I'll let you guys know how this works. I'm just starting in at the inner corner. It's a nice fine line to start because I have super hooded eyes and then I'm just going to make a nice bolder wing as I get further out towards the actual wing liner. Now let's see if we can't save this look with a pair of lashes. So today I'm going to be trying out the J Meyer lashes. These are their wispy lashes. I ordered these off of Amazon. I'm just going to pop these on off camera using this Quo glue and I'll be right back. All right, lashes are on and I am back. Honestly, I felt like this look was going to hell in a hand basket. My foundation and everything, I had like what I had like rubbed it off in so many spots redoing my eyeliner because the eyeliner was a giant mess but these lashes were a giant win I literally just popped these on in like 30 seconds I didn't even need to use glue just like the tiny bit of adhesive that was sticking these to the package is literally attaching them to my eyes and they are the perfect shape they are like contoured so that they're a little bit longer on the outside a little bit like cat eye and then they go in shorter towards the inner corner they're super wispy and they blend it in directly into my lash beds like literally so easily I am super impressed with these so wasn't a big fan of the mascara or the eyeliner but these lashes put me in a good mood they remind me of the Ardell Demi Wispies that you can get at like any drugstore except for these were super cheap and I ordered them on Amazon. So now I'm going to highlight my face using the e.l.f. Apricot Baked Illuminator but first I'm going to set everything in place using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Setting Spray because I like to apply this highlight on a nice dewy skin. So I'm just going in with this fluffy brush here. Nothing too intense and we're just going to give the nice warm Kalani highlight. Now as for lips, Kalani usually has a nice nude lip, so I'm going to go in with my favorite nude combination. This is the Tea and Cookies NYX Suede Lip Liner. And now I'm just going to go over that with this Lancome Gloss in shade 202. This is also a pinky nude. I personally just find that this lip liner and gloss combination always looks so good together, so all right, you guys, well, this was my attempt at the Kalani Hilliker Signature Makeup Look. What do you think? How did I do? Let me know how you guys think I did down in the comments below. Honestly, I thought that this look was going to hell in a handbasket, but it ended up turning out all right, if I do say so myself. It could definitely be better. There was a lot of hiccups along the way, but overall i'm pretty impressed with how this turned out let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and before we go if you guys have any other suggestions for other videos that you would like me to do let me know down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it press that juicy red subscribe button to join the sparkly family we just hit literally 40 thousand sparkles in the constellation so thank you guys that is super exciting at 50,000 subscribers i'm going to be doing a giveaway for you guys so stay tuned for that and i guess that is it for this video so as always make sure to be weird be wild and stay sparkly and i will catch you guys in the next video bye